All right, guys, I wanted to show you this three axis digital readout that I purchased for my jet uh, vertical horizontal mill. Yeah, so this is kind of a weird one. It has a horizontal output and a vertical. Um, the horizontal, not that this has anything to do with the video, um, but that operates off the gearbox and this is belt driven, similar to like a J head uh, bridge port. Not to be confused with one, of course. Um, but anyway, uh, this digital readout package came with three scales. Its brand is a Sinpo, and I purchased it uh, through eBay from some dude. His name on there is, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but anyway, he sells this package for roughly 500 bucks. Total installation on this probably took me like six hours. Um, and that included some pretty, um, I don't know, custom stuff to make it fit. Um, I've got the quill set up for the Z readout. Uh, most people would do this on the knee. On this next one that I've ordered, I did set it up for the knee on my bridge port, uh, J-head. But this one, I, I thought, you know, most of my drilling that I do is done right there with the quill. And I wouldn't mind having that kind of um, resolution available. This will give you um, down to two ten thousandths of an inch. Uh, it's very accurate uh, from what I uh, can tell. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very good. For 500 bucks, I mean, you cannot beat this. Um, it comes with the X. Here, let me drop this camera down a little bit. You'll have to excuse my shop. It's a horrible mess. But uh, anyway, um, the x-axis here, um, you tell him basically how many millimeters of travel you want, and then he sends the uh, proper length uh, scale for that. And the y-axis down here, you could probably hire a professional film person for these uh, YouTube videos but I'm too cheap. All right, thanks for hanging out. Um, anyway, I had to build my own bracket for this down here. Um, I basically just machined a few slots and some angle and uh, made that adjustable. So I've got several different um, adjustments available for that to keep it nice and true. Uh, you wanna be within three thousandths of an inch uh, from one and to the other so keep that in mind uh believe these use a glass scale and if you had that in a bind it'd probably just snap and i'm sure it wouldn't be under warranty um yeah one thing on this this is probably not the best location but i put it there for now um just the controls to turn it off and on um probably should make like a splash guard or something on there or remount it but for now i wanted to get it uh out of here because that's where I wanted to mount the scale because on the other side I've got the knee uh, height screw whatever that thing's called and uh, couldn't put it on that side so to to the x-axis uh, scale I could mount the scale which I mounted uh, very easily the scales mounting bracket only has two fasteners needed so there's one on this end one over here and I could fit my drill behind there and drill into it well, then you've got to mount this thing, whatever that is, I guess the reader, um, and that's got to be stationary. Well, the only place you can really mount that is dead center on your machine, and it's basically centered just like this is on the opposite side. But I don't have any drill I could fit back there and drill that to tap it, so I had to take this whole damn thing apart, um, which was actually really good because I'm going to have to do it to my bridge port, and I'd rather practice on this um, jet before I take apart my uh, nice one. And uh, so I learned a little bit about how these are internally, and it allowed me to get in here and clean this crap up because it probably hadn't been cleaned since 1978 when this thing was made, and who knows if it was even clean then. So it still doesn't look awesome, but it hadn't been... You know maintain maybe that well for the last 
30 or 40 years. Um, so I, I cleaned it all down with some lacquer thinner and then re-oiled it. And uh, yeah, there was no rust or anything down there. There was just a bunch of chips and crap uh, because these little guys didn't do that great of a job to uh, keep them off. And really, the machinist that owned it before me didn't do a very good job of maintaining his equipment. That's the actual problem. Um, because even without proper guards here, you can still clean your machine up and take care of that. So anyway, lessons learned. Um, someday if I ever get a brand new machine, I'll take very good care of it. But even when I buy these old junkers like this, I, I try to maintain, maintain them as good as I can. So anyway, wanted to make a quick video to show you that. I thought for uh, the price, 500 bucks, you get uh, three axis digital readout and the quality seems very good. Um, I'm not sure the quality of the wiring inside of these fine cables here, but um, I guess as long as it's not used all the time, they shouldn't break. Um, it has this fancy cover here. Um, looks like something that you'd get from a flea market, uh, but it does its job. It keeps this thing clean, so I would definitely leave it on there, use it with it, and oh yeah, to do my z-axis here, I wanted to show you how I did that. I used a piece of angle aluminum, uh, three sixteenths thick, and I think it was an inch and a half or inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, and then I TIG welded it to a piece of half inch aluminum bar stock here, and then just took some sandpaper and kind of scuffed my welds up so you don't see them. Um, and uh, I'm not that great of a TIG welder yet, um, but I'm learning. And put that on there. I used the same two fasteners that were used on the little ruler that's normally attached on here to give you your depth. Um, so I took that ruler off and I wanted to reuse the holes. So I drilled uh, my holes in my uh, mount accordingly. I had to make this custom little bracket here. It's a piece of half inch aluminum that I actually uh, drilled into the existing holes that are on this part kind of goes down with the spindle so you can see that working and then I polished the aluminum on my little buffer setup to make it um, match the one next to it so small detail absolutely not necessary oh <laughs> another thing this is my spindle lock or quill lock I should say um, I had to angle this to let that thing clear because otherwise you can't lock it so um yeah but most people probably won't mount it on the quill so that probably doesn't apply to you um but all of these things work great thought this was a yeah really happy with it overall i mean just a great deal 500 bucks three axis readout this thing will allow people to do all kinds of little projects and uh also, as you can see, you get to tear your machine down, which is a pain in the ass, but uh, the nice thing is you can actually learn about how it's constructed if you don't already know, and just get a chance to get a nice thorough cleaning of it. So overall, a uh, very good product for 500 bucks. Couldn't be any happier unless it came with perfect mounting uh, parts, but I guess it's gonna vary from machine to machine. Uh, this, I ended up just doing quarter 20, uh, screws into here those are stainless ones so I, I did have to drill into this and that was real easy I was kind of iffy about drilling into the machine but I guess it's just you know some cast um, iron and it drills easily taps easy kind of when you drill it comes out as like a crappy powder um, and that's it so I just wanted to share that with you guys hopefully this is helpful in some way if you saw this on eBay I'd say go for it um, definitely not the same quality as like one of those, uh, Fagors or however you pronounce that brand or an AccuPro, but, um, you know, you gotta live within your means.